What's up YouTube, Saf here on Super Saf TV and in this video we're going to be doing a speed test between the Huawei P20 Pro and the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. So we'll initially be starting off with some benchmark scores then moving on to some regular social apps followed by some games and finishing off with RAM management. Now for this test we are using the Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 version of the S9 Plus and that is because it did perform better overall compared to the Exynos 9810 version of the S9 Plus in my previous video which will be linked in the cards if you're interested to check that out. Also to keep things as fair as possible I have set the resolution of the S9 Plus here to full HD plus which matches the resolution of the Huawei P20 Pro. Right so kicking off with benchmark scores for Geekbench 4 the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus does score quite a bit higher for both the single and multi-core. This is also the case for Antutu the overall score quite a bit higher on the S9 Plus. Now let's get to the app test you can see that we've got nothing open in the background we're going to start off with Twitter and that was pretty much neck and neck going into notifications. I'd say a tad quicker on the S9 Plus. Instagram, tad quicker on the P20 going into my profile. Also a tad quicker on the P20 and opening up an image is pretty much neck and neck. Let's move on to Facebook Pages Manager. And that was a tad quicker on the S9 Plus. We'll scroll down here and we'll move on to YouTube. Pretty much neck and neck there. Now we're gonna play the first video and that was quicker on the S9 Plus. We do have an advert, but it is the exact same advert on both devices. Let's move on to games. So we're gonna go on to Angry Birds 2 and you can see this timer here at the bottom, which is gonna tell us exactly how long each of these take. And the S9 Plus is definitely here first, followed by the P20 Pro a few seconds later. We're going to leave this open and we're going to move on to our second game, which is Mario Run. Once again, we can look at this timer to see exactly how long each of these take. And the S9 Plus, once again, is faster. Now, the P20 Pro here is taking quite a bit longer. This is not usually the case. I think this is just a one-off in this situation. Uh, in previous times that I've tested this, it doesn't take that long for Mario Run to load up. But anyway, let's tap to begin. And this time it was the P20 Pro which loaded up the full game. Right, now let's move on to Sonic Boom 2, Sonic Dash. The P20 Pro keeps slipping here and it is the S9 Plus once again coming in a few seconds quicker compared to the P20 Pro. Now let's move on to Temple Run 2. Once again, the P20 Pro slipping a little bit and it was quicker on the S9 Plus, although we have a slightly different map on the P20 Pro. So I'm not sure why this is, but anyway, we won't take that test into consideration. Let's move on to Subway Surface. S9 Plus yet again. P20 Pro coming in a few seconds later. We'll play this and we'll leave it open. Let's move on to Dead Trigger 2. And that was pretty much neck and neck. Let's play the game. Slightly quicker on the S9 Plus. Uh, not really much between them two. I'd say about second, uh, but uh, it was faster on the S9 Plus. Right, moving on, Asphalt Date. S9 Plus again, a few seconds later on the P20 Pro and our final game is Real Steel Robot Wars. We've got quite a few games, I always say this, but this is to test out the RAM management at a later point uh, to see how well these two perform and for this one again it is the S9 Plus. The S9 Plus does seem to be faster for loading up all of these games. We're going to play the game and S9 Plus yet again uh, by just a fraction of a second. Right now let's test out RAM management to see how many of these games are still open. Uh, 
Took a few seconds to reload that on the S9 Plus, but it is still in the same place. Dead Trigger 2 was in the same place. Subway Surfers, yep, in the same place. We can resume the game and we're gonna move on to Temple Run 2. In the same place. Sonic Boom. Yep, as expected. Both of these do have 60 bytes of RAM, so uh, both of them handling RAM management absolutely fine. Mario Run was in the same place as is Angry Birds, YouTube, uh, exactly where we left it. Pages Manager, in the same place. Instagram on the image that we left it on. And finally, Twitter in the same place, notifications. So there we have it guys, that is the speed test between the Huawei P20 Pro and the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. Overall, the S9 Plus does seem to be the faster device, loading up pretty much all of the games faster compared to the P20 Pro. Now for the regular social apps, it was pretty much neck and neck. And although the P20 Pro did load up all the games a little bit slower compared to the S9 Plus, it was generally only a few seconds of difference. Apart from that one occurrence of Mario Run, now this does seem to be an odd occurrence. And I don't think this is something that you are gonna experience on a regular basis. And both devices overall, I think are super fast. What did you guys think of the results? Definitely let me know in the comments below. And also let me know what videos you'd like me to cover with the P20 Pro going forward. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, then please do hit that thumbs up button for me. And if you haven't already, then be sure to subscribe and switch your notifications. There's lots more content coming up on here. Thanks for watching. This is Saf on Super Saf TV. I'll see you next time.